Hi there. I've arrived at uh, London Euston Station and this is the uh, starting point for my trip on the Caledonian Sleeper to Inverness. Um, it's around 7 o'clock now. Um, I can't board the train until 8.30 and it leaves about um, quarter past nine. So I've got an hour and a half to kill. Um, so I thought I'd go and find somewhere to eat. There's a lot of places to eat around here. So um, I'm gonna have a look around, get something to eat and drink, and then uh, go and look for the train um, in readiness for boarding. So uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. I'm uh, just having a quick look down at a very busy Euston station. That's my train to Inverness, platform one. Right, this is the train that's going to take us well up to Edinburgh. And then I know we change trains as it splits and I'll head off up to Inverness then. But I'm, uh, I'm just walking down the platform now to go and find my uh, carriage and my berth. That's it, number 13. Right, bang on, 9.15. And we're leaving uh, London Euston, heading towards Inverness in Scotland. Just looking at uh, the other things we've got in the, the cabin. There's a, a window screen. So that just comes down, clips on the bottom. Uh, that's straightforward. If we lift that cover up, you've got a sink. Um, assume it's hot and cold water. Press and release for water, not for drinking. So they're all right to have a wash and that. Looking up here, a couple of bottles of water. I need to bought all that water. Your alarm and emergency exit. And that looks useful. That's a, a USB charger. So I should be able to charge my phone with that. All right, this has got two berths in. I've actually paid uh, for solo use of a twin berth um, cabin, so I won't be sharing. Plenty of uh, hanging space. Go with this side. There's main, the main light and a berth light and that's for for bo both berths there's a button for the attendant and there's a thermostat for the temperature control so you could turn the heat up by the looks of it looks like we've got we can dim the lights and there's also a night light oh that's that's a little night light up there so you can switch all the main lights off and just have a, a night light which gives you just enough to see around that's useful I'll just put the main light back on The berths are made up, um, we've got two pillars, a duvet, and on the lower berth, which I'm going to sleep in, 
There's a little table at the bottom end. And then there's a ladder which will allow you to get up onto the upper berth. Which is exactly the same as the lower one. So the the cabin is quite small, but um, it's quite adequate for for two people as long as you know each other. I don't think I'd like to share this with somebody I don't know. Right, just talking to the lady attendant. This catch at the bottom of the door. Once you've released it and let the door swing to, um, you can't reset it, so your door swings to. I think it's just there to hold the door open while it's in the station. As we come up, we've got the door handle and there's a lock, so you can swing that up and that locks your door. Now, this is what the lady told me. If you've got this door open, and you want to go to the lounge bar if you put the lock down pull the door to as you leave you can't get back in it's locked the only way you can get back in you've got to go and find the attendant and she or he will let you back in seems okay the other way of doing it is not to lock your door so if you have that in the up position and you haven't locked the door and you let it swing to the door will you'll be able to open the door from the outside so will anybody else but I suppose if you uh, take your valuables with you you'll be okay that's what I intend doing I'll take all my valuables with me and leave the door unlocked so I don't have to go looking for an attendant to let me back in just looking at this little pack they give you sweet dreams on the Caledonian sleeper what you actually get is a bar of soap, some earplugs, that's perhaps if you're sharing, and a blindfold. Um, so you have got some soap, you've got water, and uh, also there is a towel, so you, you can have a wash. I've also brought toothbrush, toothpaste, so... Um, you don't get those, so obviously, yeah, you do need to bring your toothbrush and your toothpaste. Um, can't think yet, and that should do, yeah. Right, I'm just wandering uh, through the carriages now. At the end of each uh, sleeper carriage is a pair of toilets, ladies and gents. Normal, normal toilets uh, you'd find on a train, got a wash basin, hand towel, there's a mirror and there's also a, a shaver point as well. As we come round here, you can see there's a berth specifically for wheelchair users. It's next to a toilet which is also accessible for wheelchair users. So even if you're in a wheelchair, you can use a Caledonian sleeper. And you see we've got a twin berth there. And you can just go straight in with a wheelchair. So I'm heading towards the, uh, the lounge bar. Uh, the next carriage I'm going to look at is uh, where the seated accommodation is. That carriage um, is just uh, the seats where people will do the whole journey sat in a seat. If you're on a budget, it's possibly the way to go. Uh, you can travel all the way to Inverness, sit in the seat and uh, hopefully get a bit of sleep.
morning. It's about four o'clock. Um, been woken up, be quite a bit uh, jolting. Um, I think we're at Edinburgh, and what's happening? The train is separating, going its different ways. If you think we started off with 16 carriages at Euston, London, um, at Edinburgh, or near, yeah, near Edinburgh, Waverley. He splits up where four carriages go to Fort William, four carriages to Aberdeen, and eight carriages, which I'm one of, in one of, um, we go to Inverness. So they, they split everything up, and it's um, a class 67 diesel. They've got three of those, and they pull the separate so, uh, train, uh, they, they, they pull the separate carriages to those locations, so um, uh, that, that I think is what's woke me up. So it's four o'clock, um, I think we're in uh, Inverness, another four and a half-ish hours, something like that. But I've, I've got a breakfast coming at seven o'clock, uh, so uh, I'll talk to you then. Okay, see you later on. Good morning, um, about six o'clock now, just got up, um, I've had a reasonable night's sleep, um, quite a lot of movement, quite a lot of things happening, so I didn't go to sleep initially, but when I did, I did have a good night's sleep. Um, woke up at four when they um, split all the carriages up, and then went back to sleep. Um, looked out the window, some fantastic views. Uh, Spent the last uh, 15 minutes just looking out the window. Um, so I'm going to wander down the train. You can open the side windows at the end of the carriages. So I'm going to see what I can see out of those and then uh, wait for my breakfast at 7 o'clock. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Right, that's uh, leaving Pitlochry station about uh, quarter to seven on the way up to Inverness. Good view of the train up front, uh, the diesel pulling the eight carriages. Right, that's my breakfast arrived. Um, it's not as big as I thought it might be, but it still looks very nice. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy this and uh, that should set me up for the rest of the day.
just leaving Abbeymoor. Nice view uh, from my window. Right, uh, just pulled into Inverness 20 to 9 on time. So that brings to an end my uh, sleeper trip from London Euston to Inverness. Um, really enjoyable experience. So um, if there's anything you want to ask me, just message me. Otherwise, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye then.